Um, medyo late na. Siguro na panood yun na yun sa channel ni Newt, pero, yeah. Isn't it great doing B-roll? Sa kasulukuyan, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mars Daily. Your daily dose of photo and video and a little more about me. Today, I am very much happy na inform kayo guys, I'm not doing the daily so well. Halos weekly ang naging upload ko. But to be honest, I've been doing this crazy intro over and over and over and over again. At sinasabi kong your daily dose of photo and video. Pero never ang gumawa ng topic about sa photo. So what cool way to make a topic about photography? Of course, I can't give the advice myself kasi baka mabash tayo dun. Buti na lang. So what I basically did, I DM'd a lot of photographers, professional photographers I know, and I asked what tip will they give to beginners like you or to starting out people in the field of photography and content creation, most likely to this craft. Luckily, sinuwerte tayo. Dahil may mga tao nag reply sa akin, and I got five of them. Like, no, wait. I got like seven of them. So first pro tip, let's get on with it. Tip number one is from the master photographer that I know ever since college. Um, siya ay si Percy Sledge Carballo. At ang kanyang tip na binigay sa akin ay never overdo enhancements or edits. Which is basically 100% true. When you're starting out, you overdo edits, you overgrade pictures, you overexpose, underexpose, never control the black and whites properly, and... Sometimes you oversaturate, desaturate, and your image just basically look like an anime fanfiction. But yeah, pwede natin siyang ihalin tulad sa isang artist na nagpipaint. Not going further technically, maganda na yung image na inuha mo. Kahit wala palang edit. Kasi, yun na yun. Tip number two, galing kay Carms Onoya. He's also a fellow YouTuber, cinematographer, wedding filmmaker, wedding photographer, he's a lot of those things. At ang sabi niya sa akin, huwag gawing dahilan ng kakulangan sa gears, makontento muna sa kung anong meron dahil importante ma-build is yung skills. Yes, wala sa halaga ng camera yan, wala sa dami ng lente yan, nasa kung paano yan makita ng mata mo. At, uh, Martians, meron tayong tinatawag na gear lust. Kung feeling nyo kailangan nyo isang gamit, hindi nyo kailangan yan. Kailangan matuto kayong i-maximize kung anong meron kayo. Katulad nyo yan. I only have one lens, and it's everything I need. It's this lens. Tip number three, galing din sa isang pro photographer na kailala ko na ever since college. Siya ay si Martin Ledesma. Ang sabi ni kay Mart sa atin, sa beginner basics, syempre, maximize your equipment. Kung anong meron siya ngayon, shoot lang ng shoot. Invest sa time, magbasa at magbasa. Manood ng tutorial vids, attend ng workshops, mas okay ang F. P, P, F. Huwag mahiya. Post niya lahat ng kuha niya. Pangit o maganda. Pagdagal, makikita niya din yung improvement niya. Nakaka-intimidate kasi pag may mga nakakasabay na grabe yung gears. Parang ayaw mo na ilabas yung gears mo na meron ka lang. Tsaka yun ang importante. Appreciate niya at maniwala niya sa mga kuha niya. Shoot lang ng shoot. Practice ang practice. Which is true. Martians, kung nagtataka kayo, bakit yung ibang magagaling na pro photographers, videographers ay minsan tahimik at hindi nagpo-post sa social media, dalawang bagay lang yan. It's either nag sila ng video sa YouTube, na sila ng workshop, or may client shoot sila. It's two things. If you really wanna be great, you have to study a lot. Tip number four ay galing sa isang napakalupit na food photographer. He's like epic. Hindi ko pa siya nakikilala sa personal, pero it's an honor na mapansin at pansinin niya sa Instagram. Tip number four is basically from Michael Angelo. Underscore food art. I don't know if that's his real name or what, but he takes dope photos. At ang sabi niya sa akin, I find your niche in photography and be good at it. Basically, ibig sabihin nito guys, sa dami-dami ng niche na meron sa photography, food, portrait, street, astro, fashion, macro, sports, landscape, and all those crazy other stuff. We have to find your niche. Siyempre, hindi ka pwede maging musician at masakop mo lahat ng genre. Ganon din sa field ng photography. Kailangan mo munang mamaster ang isa bago mo itry ang iba. I don't know if that makes sense, but yes. Tip number five, galing kay Sir Dominic D. Magmaliw. Always aim to create something that represents your vision. Aim to progress every day and not perfect a style. 
progress over perfection. Martians, sa unang basis na magpicture kayo, hindi yun galing sa camera. Galing yun sa isip nyo at galing yun sa puso nyo. Photography is a form of expression by what our eyes simply visualize. We like to detail out a story, a subject, lahat ng naiisip mo dito, those are the perfect images. And your camera is just the representative of what your mind visualizes. So always remember to perfect something. Huwag kayong titigil hanggat hindi nyo nakukuha yung image sa camera na galing sa isip nyo. Dahil pag nakontento kayo sa tama na yan, pwede na to, okay na yan, wala. Hindi nyo maka-achieve yung money-making shots. Para akong naging ano dun ah. Spoken poetryist. <laughs> At lastly, final tip na galing sa tropa nating pro photographer, videographer. Ito siya. For beginners. Oo. Ah, uh, okay yung matatakot mag-explore ng kahit anong style. Sabi na. Kung may nagsabi na nun, wala ko. So lahat yon galing sa pro photographers na kilala ko. Lahat ng IG nila nilink ko sa baba, FB page or ano man ang gusto nilang ilink, nilink ko sa baba. At sana nagustuhan nyo yung mga photos na pinifeature ko na gawa nila. Those are their best shots na binigay nila sa akin. So Martians, go check them out and send them some love. At syempre kung out of this world ka, wag mo na rin kakalimutan na mag like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell and follow me on Instagram. So muling pagkikita Martians. Peace out.